my nails are so chipped, I apologize. But I'm back with another video today. I'm sorry this video is a little bit late, um, but I was at Disneyland all day yesterday and I have a really sore throat, so I am kinda not wanting to talk a bunch, which is funny because I'm doing a plan with me. Um, but I wanted to do a little planner update slash plan with me video. Um, I had a couple requests to do another planner video, so I thought it was the perfect time to do it. If you don't like planner videos, you don't have to watch this video, that's fine with me, I don't care. Click on over to the next one um, next week or one of my old ones and yeah, come back later. So I'm going to start with a planner update really quick because I haven't done a planner video in a while and I'm going to show you the past couple weeks spreads. I have really liked them. Um, I'm gonna start with L spread from the Glam Planner. Um, I really love this spread, but I have since done uh, quite a few more so I thought I would share them with you. Again, there's a video on the spread. If you would like to see it, I will link it and you can go watch that. Um, but this was the week after. Um, as you can see, I got really busy this week and just did not finish planning. Um, but this is a set from Papered Kiss. Um, and I believe it's called Mojito. I really like this. I'm not crazy about the fact that they're all glossy stickers because I'm not crazy about the texture, but I do like the way it turned out. I just kind of sucked at doing this this particular week, but um, pretty colors. The next week was Elle's printable shop. I did the tribal chic um, layout. Again, I really love this and I love printables now because they're so cheap and you get them instantly. And um, I just really enjoyed the way that this spread in particular turned out. So pretty and I'm gonna link to all of these sets below if I can find them. So check the description if you want to see those. This next one is also from Papered Kiss and this was a really cute fall spread that I did. I really like this one. Um, it says I fail at planning because again, I got really busy this week and just did not have time to really stick to my planner but um, I love this spread. I still kind of wish I had saved it for Thanksgiving but I couldn't resist because look how pretty it is, yay! And then we get to Halloween week. Again, I love this. This is a Scribble Prints printables. Um, the All of this in the middle pretty much is from Scribble Prints Co. These are from Sunday Palm. Super, super cute. I loved this spread so much. I just think it's so colorful and fun for Halloween and not scary because I don't like scary things, but cute. And then this week, which, oh my gosh, is one of my favorites I have done in so long. Um, this is with the, Hella, or the September I'm sorry, not September, November, printable, uh, free printable from Scribble Prints Co. So all of this like glittery stuff you see, some of these middle boxes here are all from that. And then her like regular November kit. And I am obsessed with the spread. As you can see, I went to Disney yesterday. Um, I just really love these colors so, so, so much. And it turned out pretty well. But let's get into the plan with me. Um, we are going to be planning this week, which I don't have a ton going on this week, but I am going to be using a spread from a shop called Fru Vesa's Printables. Um, I have never seen her shop before, but I really wanted to do a plan with me and I didn't have a kit to do. So I thought I would go and search Etsy and find one. And I love this one. This is called Ocean Roses. And again, a printable. So I just printed these on my home um, printer and I'm going to be using these, cutting them out and doing a spread. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and go and cut these up. And then I'm gonna come back to you because that's gonna take a while. And I might as well save some battery life and save you some sanity. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I have gone through and I've cut up a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be using from that kit. There goes Ryder jumping down. Um, I'm going to cut these individually after I peel off the paper because that's gonna be a nightmare to try to cut all of those out. But these are all the little pieces I'm gonna be using and then I'm also going to be using the blue color from the September kit. I feel like will really come in handy with this spread and I might also use this pinkish color for um, the like little things section because it kind of matches a little bit um, in there. So I thought that might be a nice little pop, uh, pop of pink to get some variety in there. And then as usual, I'm gonna be using my like other weekly stickers. Um, but the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to get my September kit and I am going to put on, if I can find it, the blue colored headers up at the top so that I can put to my to-do sections like I normally do. And I'm gonna do that and I will be right back.
Okay, so now I have all of my to-do sections done, and luckily this um, color scheme really matches um, my theme this week, so I'm really glad about that. And those are the only headers I'm going to be covering up. And then I'm going to go in with my little um, checklist that came with that kit, and I'm going to add those along here, and I'll be back again. Okay, so I finally have all those checklists done. That was a bit of a process, but I did it and I am excited that I'm done. So the next thing that I am going to do, I believe I'm kind of not really sure how this is gonna work, but I'm going to, I think, do the center section with the patterned boxes. Um, last week I did it down on the bottom kind of with washi and I did these, um, ombre checklist in the middle. Um, I have a couple of those ombre checklists left over from this kit, but I don't have enough and I honestly don't wanna go print more just because I'm lazy. So I think I'm gonna do the pattern boxes in the middle this week. And then I'm gonna take these little, they're almost like washi strips. And I think I'm gonna decorate my sidebar with these. Um, so we'll come back to those in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these down in the middle and um, put in my weekend banner and stuff. So I think I'm gonna do this rose pattern and the polka dot for my weekend boxes and then kind of go in and fill in the rest um, and kind of just figure out, you know, balance wise what I want these to look like. I think that looks pretty good. It's pretty balanced on the color side and then I'm going to have one box left over. So I'm going to peel and stick those. By the way, I'm also going to link the sticker paper that I use um, down in the bottom bar below because it's not very expensive and you get a ton of it. So I will share that with you guys so that you can do this at home. It's so much easier and less expensive than paying for actual stickers and you get them instantly and can use them as many times as you want, which is really awesome. Um, I mean, they're obviously not as great quality as when you like actually order them but I don't really mind that very much because I'm the only one really looking at my planner um, and I am not that picky about it. So I would much rather spend less money and do it this way. Um, and I saved up, I kind of did a no buy um, for a while because I really wanted to get some cute, fancy Christmas stickers for all of December. I'm gonna do a Christmas spread every single week, which maybe is a little ridic ridiculous, but I love Christmas and I am just very, very ready for that. So I've ordered, um, I think, three weeks worth of spreads so far um, and I'm kind of pacing myself, but guys, they are so wonderful. So get ready for some awesome plan with me stuff in December. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so great. All right, that is looking pretty good. Now this is definitely not a fall spread, but I really don't care. Um, I am excited about the way this is turning out. Yep, so I have one extra square. We'll figure out what to do with that a little bit later. Maybe we'll put it up on the sidebar. You can't really see the sidebar right now, um, but we'll figure it out. I don't really know yet. Okay, so that is done as far as the middle section goes. If I had headers that said like today, I would put those there, but I don't. Um, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is think about what I wanna put in my little thing section because I feel like this would just be a really cute pop of color to put in there. Um, so I'm going to kind of figure out what I need for each day and then cut those out. So I know I have three TV shows this week. I need to film one day and then I'm gonna need to upload this video um, today and then one on Saturday of next week. So I'm just gonna do the one for Saturday since I'll technically upload this video, hopefully on Sunday. If not, we'll add that in later, no big deal. Um, and then we'll have a laundry sticker because I will likely do laundry again next weekend. Um, and then we'll kind of add things in later in the week as I need them. As far as a weekend banner goes, I have this weekend banner, which is from a Glam Planner kit. And this has little roses on it and it's gray, but it looks like it's almost the same clip art. So I can't decide if I want to use that one 
um, because it's kind of off color scheme or if I want to grab one of the just solid blue ones from this kit. I feel like this is really gonna blend in and maybe this one will stand out a little bit more and I think I'm gonna use this one even though it's a little different. Um, but I'm just gonna go for it because why not? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna jump around a little bit here obviously and I'm gonna stick down, oh my God, my camera's upside down so this is weird. I'm gonna stick down my weekend banner right over here. Okay, yes, I actually really like that. Cool, so we have our weekend banner. We have our little things for this week. Um, I think I'm actually gonna put these towards the top of these boxes um, instead of the bottom because I won't have as much stuff to fill in. So let us see what's, oh, and you know what? We have a new releases and we have the 1D album and the Sephora sale. So let's see if I have any sort of little things on this page I can use for those. For the SPC new releases, oh, actually, I have them on the, um, oh, where'd they go? Oh, okay, in this printable from Scribble Prints Co., she has these cute little things. So I'm gonna cut out one of these for, to mark this new releases. I need to check and see what date that is for sure. Okay, so for Scribble Prints, we have that. I need one more for the One Direction release and the um, Sephora sale, so. Let's see what we got. I think I'm gonna use a different one for the 1D release, and then I think I'm gonna use one of these boxes because I'm gonna do my Sephora sale shopping online. It's the VIB sale, um, and I'm gonna do that online, which means that it will come in the mail. So I'm gonna use one of these mail stickers. I wish I had some cute Sephora stickers, like I see some shops sell. Okay, so those are all of my little things. Um, eventually, I'm also going to use some of these half boxes from this kit as well. I haven't cut them out because I'm not sure how many I'll need, but I'm gonna be using some of those as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these down on the days I need. I know that they need to go. So on Tuesday night, I have Scream Queens and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So instead of cutting those separately, I just stuck them together because that felt easier. Um, and then my other TV show is on Thursday and that is How to Get Away with Murder. So I'm gonna stick that down. I lost it, where to go? Here it is. The Scribble Prints Co. new releases. Let's check and see when those are. Okay, so I'm not seeing exactly what day it is. I think the new releases are on, um, they're either Friday or Saturday. I think that they're Saturday, so I might just put it down on Saturday and hope for the best. Um, I'm actually going to put a little thing under this so I can write on it. You know what, I'm gonna use a half box, that will be cute. Okay, so we're gonna stick this down here. Boom, ba -doom. Then we're going to put the little Scribble Prints Co. label on there as well. There is so much little paper all over my bed now. Okay, cute. Um, so that goes there. We need a film and upload on Saturday. Typically I do my standard like YouTube um, header because typically my upload day looks like this, which you guys have seen. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna switch it up. So no, I'm not gonna do that. Let's do these little headers because they're cute, or these little, little things. All right, so we are going to put that down, just film, and then we're going to put this for upload. All right, so that is that. That's my filming day. Um, I'm actually going to put another little filming slate on Friday because I might film um, a One Direction reaction video because their album comes out that day, um, like during the day. Um, kind of like I did the Five Seconds of Summer album. So I'm going to put that on here as well. Okay, and then we're gonna put this down for the Sephora sale, which starts on the 13th, I believe. 20% off for VIBs, um, which rocks. I'm hoping what I want doesn't sell out um, in the Rouge sale, but we will see. Cool, okay, so those are all of my little things, I think. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think that I did because I'm going to be doing the One Direction on something different. So that is that so far. Let's go in and do the sidebar really quick. Um, these colors aren't perfect for 
what we have going on here and I do have these strips. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this strip like this and then I'm going to take the polka dotted one and I'm going to put them kind of like side by side sort of overlapping so that we can kind of cover up those colors a little bit. Awesome. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that it gives it kind of a washi tape looking design. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in um, because I might leave this little bottom section kind of blank um, for now. I'm gonna go in with my stickers that I use kind of weekly and put in the things I need to put in, hopefully with colors that match. I'm kind of running low, like on my dog sticker one. So we're gonna have to see, because I know that Ryder needs flea medicine and this color seems to go pretty well. So he gets flea medicine on the weekend, so I'm gonna put that on. Um, I'm actually going to put it on Friday because sometimes it makes him sick. So I wanna make sure that he has time to be sick while I'm home. And then he is also going to go to doggy daycare on Tuesday and Thursday. So I need to mark that down as well. Daycare on Tuesday. And we're going to go to doggy daycare on Thursday, maybe. Ooh, that color doesn't really match. Ah! Okay, so I have no idea where my camera cut off, but I think it got overheated and turned off, so that's a bummer. But I will walk you guys through what I think I have done since the last time. I just added a few more things just to kind of fill in some space and mark some other stuff I need to do. Um, I added a grocery sticker and then I double layered these flags here from Scribble Prints Co, which are really cute. Um, I did a little half box with a gas thing because I need to get gas. I added a to-do sticker with the um, little to-do list there that is from Sunday Palm and Scribble Prints Co. Put down a half box for church um, with a little asterisk so I can write down what time I'm going to church. Um, and then over here on Sunday, I put down a to clean box from Scribble Prints Co. and a little plan sticker. I put down this little star from Sunday Palm as well, which these dog ones are from Sunday Palm as well. I'm sorry I didn't mention that before. Um, and then I put that down for the One Direction album. So I think that's everything since the camera cut off. Maybe not. I think the only thing else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something kind of in these spaces just to fill the white space. It will likely be some of these half boxes from this sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out and just place them in places that I see fit and I'll be back. Okay, so that is my last half box there. Um, I might actually put a second one in this one down here because there is white space. Um, but yeah, I think once this is done, I will also be done with this spread. Okay, so I think that's all of the stickers I'm gonna use on this spread right now. I'm sure I will add more as I need them throughout the week, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in with pen and then I will be back to show you the finished product. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled in everything I know I can fill in at this point, and this is the finished spread. It's actually pretty cute. I don't know if I love it as much as I loved last week's, but this one was also super filled in and busy, and I loved the colors. But this one is definitely cute too. I love floral. Um, it feels a little spring, but I don't really care. I'm not picky about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was super long um, and that a part of it got cut out, but I hope you enjoy, and I can't wait to see your spreads and stuff. Be sure to follow my planner Instagram at Planner Parker and I will see you in my next video. In the meantime, my name is Parker. This is Stories in the Dust and I really hope you'll stick around a while. Bye guys!